Welcome to Campsite Out of the Fire. This week, uh, this lesson, we're going to be making a basic hood. You're going to need fabric. What is, uh, this is a piece of off-cut wool that I had in in my unit. Uh, you're going to need uh, this is uh, 70, uh, 72 centimeters wide and one meter thirty-five long. Folded in half. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, chalk, and basic pattern. I made this pattern up. Uh, off one of my old hoods that I've got here. Let me just get rid of the book. Alrighty. Let's spread this out. So, I want to make sure I've got a fold at the top. So there's two pieces here. Get to light. I'll just zoom out a bit. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Now, basic hood pattern, you want to put where the fold is at the top, you want to have the top pointed uh, at the point, you want to mark it with your chalk, and around so you know where you're going to need to cut, all way down. Now, while you're at this stage, you need to also mark, the easiest way to do this, a square panel by going like so, and also marking with the chalk. Right. Now you've got your hood basically patterned out onto this piece of fabric already. So you just need to cut it out with your scissors. Let's get this started. Oop. camera you can make the tail longer shorter depends on what you're actually wanting so this first part try and keep these two uh, together and level and cut this section off I may have a use for this later, so I'll just put that to the side. Now, you're going to need a sewing machine or you can hand sew this. But you have now got two panels. These two. One's front, one's back. So pop that to the side. Now, this piece. Okay. So, when you come to sewing, you want to connect these two pieces like so. Fold it and run it up. Work up sides. Then attach the other piece once that's on. You grab the other end where the hood starts and sew up on this section. Might be easier if I show you with the machine, so I'll catch you in a sec. Alrighty, now we've got the machine up. Now, you want to find your front, front corner. You want to grab the triangle part of your, your hood. Note, I may knock the camera a few times while doing this. And yes, I do need to replace the white globe in this machine. So, you want to... Make sure you got the, not the long one, so this is the short cross part, go over your shoulders. You want to try and, and my machine's not turned on. You want to start coming down, make sure you keep, you can use pins at this stage, but I'm used to doing this without them. Make sure you keep your fingers away from the, the needle.
Normally I go a little bit quicker than this. I'll just put a slight fold brown up to that point. Then put it in reverse, go back a bit, because this is where most of the tension on the hood will be. Now, bring it out. Cut that off. That didn't cut. Well, I really need to get these scissors sharpened. Now, you want to grab the same side, so you want to stretch it out, bring it out, so find the hood section, find the ends, find the end, so you've got the triangle, bring it up, and close the hood, like so, bring it in, and start again. Yes, I do have this machine going slow. Because this thing keeps pulling the bob out of the um, I need to get a, a better stand for my uh, bobbin at the top. Do a slight fold. Get your fingers out of there. Do a bit of reverse. That bobbin really is driving me nuts. Bring it out. Cut. Now you want to start on the other side, so you find those. You find the short piece. So there's the seam. You want to go to the other corner. You want to grab the other one. Do the same. Go on. Now you want to go right up to the corner of the, the front panel. All the way to there and back it, do that little back stitch again. Cut it off. Go to the other side where it has of the hood part. Just doing this off, seat, off, off the side. Make sure I grab the right part without being inside out. Now, I've twisted that. <clears throat> All right, find that other corner, make sure the string's under, and go again. But this time you want to go all the way up to the top of the tail of the, the hood. We keep them together. This is where the, the pins would be useful if you're not used to using a sewing machine. And we're just coming up to the join, just went over it. Now we're coming into the taily part, so let's work that down. Just follow the curve. I really need to work out a better way of hanging that on there. There goes that bloody cord. Yeah. 
Now that gets you your, your major part of the sewing done. Next we'll be doing the edges. So, I'll catch you in a sec. Alrighty, now you want to fold the edges over, so make sure you fold inwards. So you find the seam, bring it over, put it underneath the foot again, down, and go around the ed uh, bottom edge. At this stage you could also chuck in, um, you could line this if you wanted to. But because this is going to be a basic hood, we're not going to be lining it. You could also do this with um, hand sewing. You could actually do really uh, ornate hand stitched little little bits on this at this stage. So, but as a, a basic hood, you could also trim this with a bit of fur, uh, a bit of um, braiding, trimming, just a basic stitch with uh, needle and thread and uh, wool. Uh, and now we're coming up to the fold at the front. I'll show you when we get a little bit closer. Now, we're coming up to the corner here. So it's going to have that slight fold already. You want to have a fold inwards and then over. Like so. Like so. Okay. This will... This makes it so you don't have a dangly bit hanging out the end. Make sure the pin, uh, the needle's down all the way before loosening it off and turning. And get going. Currently I've got the hood hanging off the edge of the bench, so... And just keep working your way around. corner again, make sure the pins, no, needle's down, turn, you want to work your way all the way around the hood, around the base of the hood, so, that way we're nearly at the beginning again. These are just a few, I'm doing, doing these videos so that way we can do them over while we're, well, in lockdown. This is stuff that I can do while I'm in the unit, so I thought might as well do an introductory kind of videos for how to make basic LARP equipment. So, from here, you want to go to the opening of where your head will poke through and do the same thing again. So fold over the edge slightly and start going around. Come over to the seam and where your neck is. Make sure you rotate that hood slightly. You're gonna have this little bit here where you want to get the. Make sure we get that completely all stitched down. So yeah. So like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I am thinking about doing a a bunch of introductory to 
LARP making videos. Um, my local reenactment, uh, my local LARP group that I'm in, my war band, have put in a request so I can make a bunch of their costuming. So to show how to do that for all the new players. But yeah, so let me know. Feel free, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Um, yeah, and if you want to support the channel, you can go to Kofi and shout me a coffee. So yeah. So from here. You turn it inside out, and I'll show you what the finish hood will look like. Let's catch you shortly. Alrighty, this is how the hood should look after you've sewn it all together. It's inside out, uh, been turned outside in. There. So, from here, this should now sit up and over your shoulders. Right, so, I'm making this one as a introductory kind of to one of the North, or well, Northman hoods. So... So I should go, actually I might chuck this on and actually show you guys what this looks like on me. So I'll show in a sec. This is how the hood comes out at the end. So, uh, front, got the V at the front, so it comes down to your front. Over your shoulders, onto the back. Got the tail. Yeah. So, I'll get the bit out. So, nice basic Viking uh, reenacting, LARPing kind of uh, hood that you can use for your local LARP games. Uh, so yeah, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I will be making more LARP and beginner basic level costuming for the next little while while we're in lockdown. So feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Also, don't forget if you like to shout me a coffee and support the, uh, support the channel, feel free to find me on Kofi at Cam's Art Out of the Fire. And I've also got an Etsy, so you can find it in the description or in the uh, top of my uh, channel page. So yes, so I'll catch you next time.